Autumn's a time when the nights draw in and the weather starts to turn and uh, turn for the worst. Summer's just, uh, just a memory now and uh, we're, we're, yeah, we're into the thick of autumn. The weather in autumn can be very changeable. We can have some really windy days up on the moor, not very pleasant for man the beast. The nights get darker, the days are shorter, all the challenges lay ahead. Melancholy time of year, really, in the farming world. My name's Stephen Bostock and Hall Farm has been a big part of my life for the last 40 years. I think since I started farming, autumn's one of my least favourite times of year. We're getting up early, it's dark when we get up, when we finish work it's dark. It, it, it is a tough month, but I, I quite like uh, the challenges of it. My name's Dave Fullerton and I'm a hill farmer here at Hall Farm, Gamersgill. Autumn, it's one of the busiest times on the calendar year for me, getting the sheep ready for tupping and, and following on into tupping time. One of the first jobs is gathering the mowers of all the yows, which is basically you're gathering off our mowers, the tops of the hills, gathering them all in, pushing them down to the farm and uh, give them a bit of MOT before uh, tupping time. You can sometimes get a bit caught out with, uh, with the weather, it can either be uh, blowing a gale so the dog can't hear you, or it can be uh, foggy and you can't see the dog or the sheep, or it can uh, just be raining sideways. So we dose the hours before they go to the tup, kill off any nasty uh, worms inside of them or any fluke, and that, hopefully that should see them, uh, see them through the rest of the year. So when I'm releasing the tup to the yows, I normally have them housed inside for a, a week or two before tupping. We put a certain rattle mark on the tup to show which yows he's, uh, he's been to. Uh, we start with a lighter colour, making your way darker. We do this because when it comes around to spring, I want to bring down my earlier lambers first, and there's no way that I'm going to know which yow has been tup without tup marking them. Here at Hall Farm, uh, we have autumn carving. I like as many of them I can to carve outside, but that's very weather permitting. I just think my cows seem to get on and carve better than they do if they're inside. I don't know why, but that's just that's just the way they, they seem to like it. Oh, it's a good feeling when you go and see your newborn calf. It's quite interesting looking, uh, wondering what sort of calves are going to be born, especially off some of your favourite cows. You wonder how the calves are going to look. So we tag our calves within about two days of calving, as soon as we can really. And once they're tagged, I have to go and apply for a passport for this calf and whatever that calf goes later on in its life has to go with that passport. All the hay and silage that we produce in the summer months, now it's come to autumn, we, we need to be using that to feed the cows and the sheep. It's quite nice to get the bales out of the shed and the silage out of the plastic and all that time spent in the summer trying to produce good quality feed, we're glad it's paid off. In the previous season we start selling uh, lambs to go fat and that uh, carries on through into the autumn which involves weighing the lambs and we're looking for somewhere around 44 kilos and then we uh, tag them and they have a unique number for uh, traceability. Sheep dogs are a very important part of our farming life. If we didn't have any dogs, we'd, oh, we'd just be lost, yeah, be lost without them. So here we have four generations of working dog on the farm. A sheep dog can know up to a hundred different words. There's a lot of different commands. There's not just one or two, there's, uh, there's a dozen or so that they need to know. You're working with your dogs every day. You, obviously you have, a, you have a close bond with them. I know when uh, they're under weather and they know maybe if I'm in a bit of a mood, they'll <laughs> know we can read each other. Definitely. David and I have been working on the barn extension all year. 
We got the frame and the roof put up in March, I believe. Since then, we've been trying to get the barn finished off on our own. Learned a lot from, from doing it ourselves. We thought we had plenty of time, but uh, now we're in the autumn and uh, winter's fast approaching. I think the cows will be, um, be working outside, ready to come in once, once the uh, doors open. David and I both think conservation is important on the farm. I think farming and conservation both work together, one's part of the other in, in, in a way. You're probably doing conservation without realising it by doing general maintenance on the farm. David and I hope that uh, all the preparations we've made for the winter will pay off. We like to think that um, we've prepared well. The dark nights are here and winter's looming. It's quite re rewarding to see that uh, now we've got these big autumn jobs out of the way, we can uh, start making them uh, final preparations for winter, which is uh, just around the corner. <laughs>